super, super important is setting goals, right? Setting goals, even if they're small goals. You can look at your next two years. You can map out your next two years, the first two years of your business, just based off of goals, right? So you make a list of priorities and you say, here is the 10 things or the 15, 20, however many I want to accomplish or I will, I will accomplish in my first two years of business and put those on the calendar, January, March, July, October, or a lot of people do by quarters. They'll say Q1, Q2. It doesn't matter how, you know, how you label it, but put it on a timeline. And then you have to break that up into smaller steps to say, okay, before I'm going to do step one, here's the five things I have to do. And if this is, I have, I have three months to get this done, then I need to be getting one of these things done every two weeks. You know, just, just set those goals and set those boundaries and then continually reevaluate your progress. You're going to have some things that you're going to get done faster. You will have some things that you will get done slower. Yeah. <laughs> always, always, always. It's usually either tech or legal. No offense. That's just the way it works. <laughs> it's usually the attorneys or the tech that slows things down, but that's fine. That means they're doing their job and they're doing it well and that's fine. But I would say don't be hard on yourself if you don't meet your milestones because progress is still progress. Even if it's not as fast as you want it to be, celebrate the movement forward, celebrate progression on your timeline, and keep going. Just keep going. 